overview of um, how the implementation of ours uh, makes it uh, so simple and, uh, and, and uh, scalable. Uh, essentially, uh, we are very much like uh, single phase direct on chip uh, based solutions. Uh, we use uh, uh, cold plates, we use manifolds, and we use uh, condensers versus uh, radiators that uh, you mentioned before. And uh, on the surface, uh, it actually looks pretty, pretty similar, except that the similarity stops there. Uh, we uh, <coughs> approached it uh, such that uh, the liquid uh, that we're using is uh, dielectric, so there's no water in the server, which uh, is uh, one of the key uh, enablers. Uh, for both the customers and the technology, not just that it uh, el eliminates uh, the risk of IT meltdown altogether, uh, by the virtue of using this dielectric in the specific way we use it, uh, we implement it, uh, it uh, makes the whole system uh, much smaller and compact. So I'm holding a, a plate, a cold plate, it's actually an evaporator. You can see how uh, small and compact it is. And it would remain compact because we are unlike in single phase that is dependent on, uh, um, on, on specific, is built on the one specific heat and therefore dependent on flow and inlet uh, temperature. Uh, in the case of uh, the dual phase, it's uh, all about latent heat, which means that this uh, small pool of uh, the electric material uh, will be boiling uh, if and only when uh, the uh, heat is generated, uh, which means that uh, it would evaporate upwards. And that means that uh, we are not bounded, and we are not dependent on flow, we are not dependent on inner temperatures, and therefore we are not bounded uh, by the heat flux, uh, nor by the amount of heat that is generated by the device which gives a future-proofing within the same compact slim design. 